Dear Heavenly Father, we just give you praise, honor, glory. We thank you, Father God, where two or three are gathered, God. You are in the midst, Father. So, God, we just thank you, Father, that you're going to have your way tonight on this call, God. We just ask you, Father God, just to anoint the airways, Father God, and draw the people on the line tonight, God, and that you will use your servant, Father, um, as never before for your glory, God. Lord, let signs, wonders, and miracles follow this word tonight. God, we just come against backlash and retaliation, Lord. And God, we decree and declare that this word tonight is going to fall on good ground in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we thank you that it's going to be something that we need to hear, God. God, we thank you that this word tonight, God, will just turn things around in our lives, God, and cause supernatural breakthrough and acceleration, God, for your glory. So, Lord, we thank you. Father, for what you're going to do tonight on this call, God, and Lord, we just ask you to have your way, and we decree and declare this word is going to fall on our hearts and just shift and uh, just bless our lives as never before. In Jesus' name, amen. So I just want to welcome everybody to the call tonight. I'm so excited. I have, you know, my covenant brother in Christ, and I just bless God for him and his wife. And uh, you guys, if you follow the podcast on Charisma, he was a guest. You follow the magazine, Rejoice Essential Magazine. You know, his ministry was featured, um, I think, a couple of years ago. Um, if you listen to the podcast, me and my husband do, Rejoice Essential Network podcast, you will see that he was also a guest. So me and my husband love this man of God and his family. Um, and I, I know this word is going to be powerful. I know this word is going to be powerful tonight. So without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to Pastor Sebastian. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, sis. I am so excited to be on and to be on the line with you. Uh, as I always say, I don't, I don't take it robbery uh, for you to extend the invitation to me and, and to for, for me uh, to be on your platform. Um, so I'm really excited. Um, as you said, I've been featured in all her things that they do, and I'm, I'm so thankful for her and Tron. Um, and I, I just love them very, very, very much, and I'm so thankful for their life. Um, so, again, I, I am on here to deliver a word on tonight. Um, now, I got three words. Oh, I prepared for <laughs> three, I, I guess, three sermonettes, but I believe that um, the more that this date came, the more God really started speaking about um, this particular text. Um, so if you have your Bibles, please turn with me to Genesis chapter 3, verse 9, a very unique passage. Um, I would say I'm not an Old Testament preacher or teacher, but I believe this is what God is saying to us and to the body of Christ at large. Um, Genesis chapter 3, verse 9, and I'm so thankful for my wife. I believe she is on and my family. Amen. And to my church family, I believe that is on as well. And I'm so thankful for you guys. And God bless you on tonight. So, again, Genesis chapter 3, verse 9. Genesis chapter 3, verse 9. The Bible reads like this in the NIV. Uh, well, let me do. Let me do. Let me do verse 8. Genesis chapter 3, verse 8 through 9. The Bible reads like this, NIV. Then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And they hid from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. Now, as I say all the time with my church, if you've got a paperback Bible, you need to highlight that whole thing. The whole thing. If you got a tablet, highlight that. If it's not highlighted, I'm going to read it again. Um, again, Genesis chapter 3, verse 8. Then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And they hid from the Lord God among the trees. Of the garden. Here it is, a highlight text tonight. But the Lord called to the man, Where are you? Father, in Jesus' name, I come to you right now, God, to honor you, God, to lift you up. Father, I pray in this moment, God, that you would speak. 
hallelujah, through me. That's, Father, the words that you've given me, God, won't fall on um, deaf ears, but also, God, that it will fall on good ground in the hearts of those that are listening on tonight. Father, I pray that, God, this word will grow fruit in its season. Now, Holy Spirit, I need you. Your servant is available to you right now. Your servant is available to you. My eyes and my ears are open. Father, I pray tonight that you even pour out fresh revelation, God. Hallelujah, that this word, God, will be a continuance, that, God, that we will remember this word on tonight. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, I flow with you. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Listen, if I had to tag this this text on tonight, um, it would be entitled, Out of Position, But Not Out of My Presence. I'm going to say it again. Out of position, but not out of my presence. Again, this is Genesis chapter 3, verse 9. Again, I'm going to read. I'm saying one more time in your hearing. But the Lord God called to the man, where are you? My brothers and sisters, we're living in some very critical climate and and a compelling hour. From the counts of the election that was going on in the world, from the cold weather patterns, COVID-19, closing of many churches across the world, And watch this, the calling of generals of God going home. We are living in a critical hour. And I want to tell someone tonight, now is not the time to be found out of position. I'll say it again. I got to tell someone tonight that's on this call, now is not the time to be found out of position. Position is not merely, my brothers and sisters, your social status or what you can buy nor what you can wear, but position, watch this, deals with your God-ordained purpose. Yes, it deals with your God-ordained purpose. And in my study tonight, prophetess, um, researching the word purpose, I, I went to Google And to my surprise, over 1.2 billion results populated, watch this, about the word purpose. It seemed as though some of everybody had something to say about the word purpose. To name a few, Oprah Winfrey, Dr. Phil, and my favorite, Rick Warren. Rick Warren writes in his book um, uh, that I love, What on Earth Am I Here For? And I quote, time is your most precious gift because you only have a set amount of it. You can make more money, but you can't make more time. When you give someone your time, you are giving them a portion of your life that you will never Get back. And the truth is, my brothers and sisters, tonight we spend a lot of time sometimes on the cares of what's going on in our world until we are found out of position. And I believe tonight, hallelujah, that God is asking us and the body of Christ at large, where are you? Yes, he is. I believe he's asking that tonight. And on the backdrop of our text, we have man or mankind thriving in position. God, our Father, called things into existence. According to the book of Genesis chapter 1, amen, hallelujah, God called forth the the moon. And and we know that he called forth the stars and the skies and and the waters and and the seed-bearing plants, the animals. But God, watch this, y'all, hallelujah, I feel the Holy Ghost now. But God fashioned formed and filled man, watch this, and placed man in a thriving position. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And that's 
alone should shout someone tonight, and that should be good news to someone tonight because before God placed you in life, he touched you. I'm going to say that again. Before God placed you in life, before God, hallelujah, before you uh, breathed your, your first uh, fresh breath of air, God touched you. But but God allowed, uh, before God allowed you to breathe this hair, he had his hands on you. I want you to get that tonight. Listen, before God allowed you to breathe his air, God had his hands on you. And and let me encourage someone tonight that God always had his hands on you. It wasn't your it wasn't your brother, it wasn't your sister, it wasn't your father, it wasn't your mother. It was God, hallelujah. It was God who had his hands on you. He is the one who formed you. Hallelujah. And I have to remind someone tonight, even when you're in a thriving, uh, even when you, you're in a thriving season, trouble will come. Even though that God has, has, has touched you, even though that God has formed you, even though that God has filled you, even though that God has fashioned you, even though that God will place you in a thriving position, trouble will come. Trouble would come. Hallelujah. On the backdrop of our text, I ain't make it up. You can find it at, at, the, at the opening of chapter 3 that we see that the serpent, the Bible says he was, it was more crafty than any other of the wild animals the Lord God had made. Watch this. And he said to the woman, did God really say you must not eat from the tree? In the garden, here we have the serpent talking to man. Listen, even though uh, this woman was in a thriving uh, position or a thriving season with her husband, trouble came. And listen, this is very noteworthy, and I want you guys to write this down. Hallelujah. Uh, I want you guys to write this. We have to be careful who's talking to us in our thriving season. I say it again, in case you, in case you need to, for me to repeat that. We have to be careful who's talking to us in our thriving season. You may say, Pastor, what do you mean? What do you mean in a thriving season? Listen, do you not know when God formed and 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 fashioned man that God set him in the middle? of the garden called Eden? Do you not know that the garden Eden had gold, it had silver, it had all kind of rhinestones, it had all kind of, I believe, rivers, I believe seven rivers that was flowing through the garden Eden. God placed man or mankind into a thriving season. But the enemy found out that God had positioned man and placed him in a thriving season. So the enemy found out, said, hey, in order for me to get these people out of their position, out of their purpose, I got to throw them off. And I want to tell someone tonight that you have to be careful who is talking to you while you're in your thriving season. Listen, I believe the serpent, amen, uh, was kind of jealous of of mankind because watch this because throughout the Bible uh, Genesis chapter one that God spoke things into existence God spoke the birds in, of the air God spoke Hallelujah of uh, the moon and the and the sky God spoke the the land to come forth but watch this y'all watch this don't you miss this tonight. But but when God wanted to create man, he placed his hands on him. Listen, everything in creation, uh, the, the Bible is very clear that God spoke and it was. But when it came to us, my brothers and sisters, God placed his hands 
on us. And I believe, my brothers and sisters, that I believe that Satan knew in order for God to remove his hand from off of man and, and for God to, re, uh, to move mankind out of, uh, place them out of their thriving position, I got to get in their ear. So this is what Satan does. Listen, 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 listen. This is what he does. He begins to talk to the woman. Verse 2, the Bible says, the woman said to the serpent, we may eat fruit from the trees and, and trees in the garden, but God did say you must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden, and you must not touch it or you will die. Watch this at verse 4. This is how crafty the serpent was. Amen. Verse 4, you will not certainly die. Put doubt in the woman. Watch this. And the serpent said to the woman, for God knows that when you eat from it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Watch this, verse 6, when the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good uh, for food and pleasing to the eye and also desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some and ate it. Watch this. So also, she also gave some to her husband who was with her, and he ate it. Watch this as I keep Progressing. Then the eyes of them both were open, and they realized they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and made coverings for themselves. And, be, and, and I got to pause right here, and I got to reiterate again because I hear it in my spirit. We have to be mindful, my brothers and sisters, tonight, that when we're in a thriving season, we can't take suggestions from other people. Listen, it may seem harmless it may seem innocent it may seem like it may it may uh it may cause you to prosper in life but i'm here to tell someone on this line when god places you in a thriving season you have to be mindful of who is in your circle you have to be mindful of who you're connected to you have to be mindful and, and, and check that person out and make sure that this person has my best interest at heart listen even though even though that Eve was connected uh, to Adam uh, uh, but I believe my brothers and sisters that she that she I don't want to put it this way that she was not mindful of the season that they were in I say that again I believe hallelujah that Eve may have Adam's best interest at heart. I believe that 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 Adam was his sugar, her sugar, her lover, her bay. But at the same time, she was not mindful of the season that she was in. My God. And as I continue on the read at verse eight, the Bible says, "And then the man and his wife, watch this, y'all, heard the sound of the Lord God as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day. Can you imagine, my brothers and sisters, hallelujah, to be in a thriving place, to be in a saturated place, to be where, hallelujah, where the presence of the almighty God visits you, hallelujah, at uh, at day in and day out. That's what these people had, my brothers and sisters. They were thriving. They, They had things going well for themselves. If I can make it plain on tonight, they had money in the bank. They had a nice beautiful mansion. They had things going on. They had wealth untold. Even, watch this, y'all, they even had the presence of God. But, 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 but even in that, my brothers and sisters, as they were in this thriving season, trouble came, and they, 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 and they trouble came, and trouble came, and it took them away from the presence of of God. It took them. It took them. Listen, when they they heard the sound of God, in other words, watch this. Yes, Lord. Uh, They heard the sound of God. And when they heard the sound of God, watch this, coming 
in the time at the time or the timing of that day they hid themselves. In so much, watch this at verse nine and I highlighted text. Hallelujah. The, the, the Bible says, but the Lord God called to man, where are you? Where? Where? Listen, this lets us know, my brothers and sisters tonight, that there was a set time that man had to meet with God. I said again, as, as much as though that they were in a thriving season as as much as though they were in a, a thriving hour and and God placed them in a in a in a promising position man had a set time to meet with God and I'm here to tell someone tonight and I believe this is what God is saying to us where are you where is the time that I've given you to meet with me where are you uh, a man and mankind woman where are you where are you because i'm come i'm coming at the set time in the set moment to meet with you but you're not found i believe that's what's going on in the body of christ my brothers and sisters god is asking us a question tonight where are you i sealed you with purpose i formed you in my likeness i formed you in my image i formed you and i prospered you and i and, and you're supposed to meet with me where are you where are you where are you and that's all i came on here to to to, to say on tonight where are you my brothers and sisters i believe that's what god is saying to us where are you it's a question it's a question tonight it's a question tonight. It's a question tonight because, listen, this question deals with the fact of man's position. Man had position with God to meet in his presence. Now, I don't know about you, my brothers and sisters, as we go on throughout life and in this calendar year, I can't go on without God's presence. I can't move without God's presence. I can't run this race we call life without God's presence. And I believe tonight, my brothers and sisters, we need God's presence. Listen, man, he was in a thriving situation. Man, mankind, Adam and Eve was in a thriving position. Listen, they had riches. They had the wealth. But they also had God's presence. Listen, we, I believe, my brothers and sisters, there was a time where, where his church, his body, we had the riches, we had the crowd, we had, we had riches, we had a, 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 a good name and all that good stuff, but we also, they also had God's presence. And somewhere along the line, my brothers and sisters, we got out of position got out of position and said, look, we, we, we can possess these other things. We, we can possess this and that. But also I believe we let other people get in our ear. Watch this, to take us out of God's presence. And I believe tonight, my brothers and sisters, God is asking a question. He said, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I've come, I've come to meet with you. I've come to see about you. I've come for my daily appointment to see you face to face, my brothers and sisters. Where are you? Listen, let it not be known, uh, the body of Christ and us, that we're so stuck on who's in our ear that would cause us to hide, hallelujah, from God's presence. Listen, this is what Adam did. He responded back to God. And he answered, I heard you, God, in the garden. Uh, I was afraid because uh, I, I had to hide because I've been exposed to someone who withdrew me from out of your presence. And, and let it not be said tonight, my brothers and sisters, that someone has hijacked your ear 
and pulled you out of your position and out of God's presence. Listen, in my clothes right here before I begin to pray, amen, uh, I'm so thankful for this text. Let me make it very clear. Even though Adam got out of position, but he never got out of God's presence. Do you hear what I said tonight? Listen, you may feel like you're out of position, but notice tonight that you're not out of God's presence. You're not out of God's presence. Listen, you may feel like uh, I was once thriving before, and you're trying to figure out what has happened. Uh, and it could be that you found yourself out of position, but I came, I've come with good news tonight that even though you may be out of position, but you're not out of God's presence. That's what he wants me to tell someone tonight, that you may feel like you're out of position, but you're not out of his presence. His presence. Listen, I ain't make it up. I'm about to shout, my God. Even though, hallelujah, even though man heard the sound of God walking in the cool of the day, even though man heard that God was on the scene at this time of the day. Listen, even though man hid himself, even though man put himself out of position of God, God still had a voice in God's and man's ear. And that's good news tonight. Even though you can fall away from God, even though Someone may have have your ear, even though someone may have led you astray or got you out of position. Notice tonight that God still has your ear. I said again, God still has your ear. How do you know, Pastor? How do you know that God still has my ear? Look, we, we, it's illustrated in this text. Uh, the Bible says at verse 10, here it is, uh, Adam answered. <laughs> it's that simple. Adam answered. Adam answered, Adam answered, and and responded back to God. And God said, you know, Adam, even though uh, you made this mistake, even though uh, you listened to someone that was connected to you, this is what I'm still going to do, Adam. I'm still going to be your God. I'm still going going to um, cause you to, to, to remain connected to me. Listen, this is what God did for him, y'all. Even though man made a mistake, even though man uh, got out of position, this is still, man still was still in the presence of God. At verse 21, here it is, the Lord made garments of skin for Adam and his wife and clothed him. I said again, I said again at verse 21 in Genesis chapter 3, verse 21, the Bible says, the Lord God made garments of skin for Adam and his wife and clothed him. I think y'all missed it. I'm going to say it again. Genesis chapter 3, verse 21, the Bible says, the Lord made garments of skin for Adam and his wife and clothed him. Even though man was out of position, God still brought them into his presence. God still had his hand on mankind. God still had his hand on on Adam and Eve. God still had his hand on on Adam, and that should bring somebody good news tonight. Even though you may have fallen from God, even though you may have fallen from your position, I'm here to tell someone tonight that even though you may have fallen, God still has you. God still loves you. God still will bring you into his presence and form you and clothe you. Are you hearing me on tonight? Hallelujah. All I came on here to say, prophet, is that even though someone on this line tonight, even though the body of Christ tonight may be out of position, but we're not out of his presence. Not out of his presence. We're not out of his presence. We're not Mm -hmm. out of his presence. Mm -hmm. Prophet, you Mm -hmm. can have the floor. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let's go ahead and give God praise on that. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Beautiful. Well said. Awesome. Awesome. 
Glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Jesus, for this tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for this word. Thanks for the word. Hallelujah. Thank you. Praise God. Take heed. Amen. To this word. Amen. We want to just shift really quickly and we want to just go ahead and worship the Lord with our giving tonight. Amen. We want to be a blessing to the man of God and we're going to sow into his ministry tonight. So I just bless God. And, you know, the Bible says when we give, it shall be given back to us. Good measure. Press down, shaking together. Shall men pour into our bosoms. And also when we give, just know that the devourer, I prophesy the devourer is rebuked for our sakes. I decree that in Jesus' name. All right. So, man of God, how can we uh, sow into you tonight? Um, you can go. You can go to our website, um, www.thepresencehousepc.com. Um, there's a donate button on that. Um, we also have Cash App as well. It's the dollar sign. The Presence House PC, and um, you can give that way as well if you want to be a blessing. Amen. Amen. Say it one more time, just in case somebody needs information. Um, you, yeah. Um, you can go to www.thepresencehousepc.com, and then I believe it's the top right corner. You just click on that donate. You can give there. And also we have Cash App as well. It's the dollar sign. The Presence House PC, dollar sign, The Presence House PC, and and you can give that way and to be a blessing on tonight. Hallelujah. I sense the presence of God. Hallelujah. I'm just going to pray over these offerings and the seeds right quick, and then I'm going to turn it over to the man of God so he can just take prayer requests. Amen. And just flow however the Holy Spirit is leading him to flow. So, Father... We're so grateful, God, just to come to you, Father, and be able to give unto you, Lord. And, God, we just ask you, Father God, that this seed tonight that we will yield a mighty harvest. You tell us, God, that he who sows sparingly will reap sparingly, but he who sows abundantly, God, will reap abundantly, Father. So, God, we thank you, Father God, that, Lord, this uh, we're, we're sowing into this word tonight. We're sowing, Father God, because we know we're going to uh, yield a mighty harvest. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. So I'm going to turn it back over to you, man of God, and you just flow however the Lord is leading you to flow. Amen, amen. Again, I pray tonight you guys were blessed by the word. Again, I just want to just reiterate tonight that even though you may be out of position, but you're not out of his presence. No one is, can go anywhere where God cannot reach you. I said again, no one can go anywhere where God cannot reach you. The good news is about this text, and I'm just looking back over it. Even though Adam fell, God, God still spoke to Adam, and Adam responded. So the connection was still there. Hallelujah! And that's a word. That's just a word for someone tonight. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah! You may feel I'm just sensing that you may feel that tonight, tonight that you're just so far away from God. But know this, Hallelujah! That God, Hallelujah! God is speaking tonight, and he's giving you an opportunity. Yes, Lord, that's what he says. He's giving you an opportunity. He's giving you an opportunity to respond to where are you? Where are you? Hallelujah. So I'm going to take prayer requests. I just sent, I don't know, someone on the line, your right foot. I don't know who it is for. Is there someone on the line that's dealing with or having trouble with your right foot? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If not, uh, well, I, just, I see it. So I sense it in the Holy Ghost. So just take your healing tonight. Take your healing tonight. Do what you couldn't do before. Hallelujah, by the power of God, may you be touched now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare healing to the right, to this person tonight, your right leg, this right leg. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. So if anyone need prayer tonight, this is what I, this is my assignment tonight. If you need prayer, please, you can speak up now. If not, forever hold your peace. Praise God. <laughs> but this, this is my assignment tonight. Hallelujah. 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 Don't yeah, be afraid. Well, I, I take prayer. Uh, you know, nobody wants prayer. I take prayer. Amen. Okay. Um, pray but over. Oh, go ahead. Well, go ahead. I, I, I'll take a prayer request, but I'm just I'm gauging right now. Go ahead. Oh, okay. I didn't mean to, cut, um, you know, cut you off. I'm just saying pray for me and my husband as we step out and launch uh, and do new things we haven't never done before, you know, over our, our, this, our project, his photography, you know, our videography, Amen. you know, our businesses. Amen. But also someone's on the line. Uh, the father just said, oh, son, I want you to release wholeness tonight. Mm-hmm. Someone's on the line. You've been broken it's almost it's almost I'm sensing like you've been shattered as well in your emotions and in your relationships but the father says tonight son speak wholeness so whoever you are I just speak wholeness to your mind I speak wholeness to your body I even speak wholeness to your home right now in the name of Jesus where the enemy has had a foothold I cancel the assignment even now in the name of Jesus, and I command wholeness to every part, hallelujah, of your life in the name of Jesus. Father, you are the resurrection and the life. So, Father, I speak, yes, Lord, hallelujah, resurrection to this individual tonight, God, that you will raise them up in the name of Jesus. So I release wholeness tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. So, Father, I pray for my prophetess, sis, and and Tron, God, in their business endeavors. Father, I pray that, God, that you begin to open up more doors, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, that contracts are coming. Contracts are coming, God, even in this business, new business venture, God. Contracts are coming, God. Hallelujah. I thank you, God, even for the TV shows, God. I thank you, God, even for the movie productions, oh, God. Screenplays. Screenplays. I see and sense in the name of Jesus. So, Father, your word declares in Proverbs 16, 3, God, Father, you said in your word, God, commit your work to the Lord and your plans will be established. So, Father, I pray that, God, that their work, God, will be established, God, even in the region, God. Hallelujah. In other places of the world, God, I thank you, yes, Lord, that people are coming, God, that people are beginning to discover, God, what they're doing and what how they're trying to do it, God. Father, I pray that resources, God, will be released, God, for new equipment. I see in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. So, Father, I thank you. Yes, Lord, there's a new region that's even opening up to them. So, Father, I thank you, God. I thank you, God, for this region opening up to them even now, God, in the name of Jesus. Father, I release influence. I release influence. I release influence Thank upon their Lord. lives, God, that their ministry will even can grow the more. Will grow the more. Will grow the more in the name of Jesus. Tron, I see you, sir. I see you writing. I see you writing. And I believe that God is about to release a, a God-given idea. I see, like, you're writing scripts or plays or something along those sorts. And I believe that these plays and these scripts are going to be a blessing to the body of Christ. They're going to bring about deliverance to the hurting. They're going to bring about a deliverance, hallelujah, and healing, hallelujah, as you write these plays and, and send them into production, hallelujah. God is releasing that grace upon you. God is releasing that grace upon you to be a writer, to be a writer, to be a writer, to be a writer, says the Holy Ghost. 
Thank Father, you. I thank you for this grace upon my brother. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I thank you for this lovely couple, God. I thank you, God, for the fellowship and the kinship that we have. So, Father, I pray that even our relationship, God, will grow stronger even now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. And amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. 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 Is there anyone else? Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Good evening Hallelujah. to my sisters and Hallelujah. brothers in Christ, to the prophetess, and to the man of God of this hour. My name is Ella Dutton, and I am asking that as I go stronger in God and as I begin to get into his word and for understanding and wisdom, that I stay focused, that I stay on the task that God has for me, and that he will show me my gifts and what I need to do, that I can be yeah. a willing a, a vessel to to men and boys and girls and women, all cross whatever he wants me to do. I just want to be available, and I just want to be Amen. able to stay focused and understanding his word as I get into it, and that uh, that I just be what God called me and what he wants me to be in this season and this hour. Amen. 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 And I just believe what God is saying to me even now, that he is highlighting your purpose even as you were yet speaking, that he's giving, hallelujah, that he's giving you a heart and a passion for children, for children. And I just believe that as you begin to mature and grow, that God is going to raise your platform up to be a, to be a blessing to the next generation or the generation that's coming up to the generation that's coming up. So, Father, I pray even now that, God, by your fire, that you would infuse her, God, with purpose, God, and wisdom tonight, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you said in your word that, God, that those that will hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be sealed. So, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will seal her now. In the name of Jesus, Jesus. in the name of Jesus, Father, give her a fire that will never burn out. Father, give her a fire that will never burn out. Father, give her a fire that will never burn out, God, in the name of Jesus. No longer will she be tossed to and fro, God, but Father, she will stay on the straight and narrow in the name of Jesus. So, Father, I thank you. Yes, Lord. I cancel every assignment of the enemy. I cancel even the ones that will talk into your ear, that will pull you away from his presence. And I see influential people that will keep you on the path. Mm, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So, Father, I thank you for purpose being birthed to this lady tonight. In Jesus' name I pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I sense Thank God. You. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's moving on the line. Hallelujah. Thank you. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is there anyone else tonight? Yes. Yes. I would Hallelujah. also like to request yes. prayer. Um, my name is Ariana. I'm actually from New York, but I d- decided to join. So, hello, guys. Hi. Um, I New wanted York. to, yeah, <laughs> I wanted to thank you guys for the word that you gave today, which was very influential to me, especially speaking about how like letting people speak stuff into your ear can you know affect and affect your life. So, I think that was very mm-hmm. important for me. Um, Amen. I've been going through a lot of, um, I guess you would say, situations pertaining to spiritually and also well-being, so I just wanted to request prayer for that. And also um, okay. I want to ask God for an increase in faith so I can keep seeking after him. Amen. Amen. Now, tell me this, because I see a bridge. Are you in Brooklyn? Where are you? What part I'm in the you? Bronx. 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 I knew it started with a B. Hallelujah. Yeah. Okay. 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 I, I, anywho, let me pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for your daughter tonight, God. Father, I pray. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, I speak a resurgence to your daughter tonight, God. Father, I pray. Hallelujah. 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 That, God, that you begin to reveal the more yourself to her even now. That, God, yes, Lord, that Father says he's going to start waking you up. And in those quiet hours in the wee of the night, that's when you should pray. And watch what God does in your life. Kalamandia si. Rebe bibio soya. Hata. Lemandia. Rebe sita. Robo sutu. Lemendia. Takalamandia. Hallelujah. Watch what God does. Hallelujah. When he wakes you up and you pray. Don't don't go uh, watch your favorite show on, on, on Netflix. But pray. Yes. Pray. Yes. Pray. Watch how he excels your life into what he's called and purposed you to be. Father, I decree and I declare. Father, your word says, yes, that God knows that hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled. So, Father, feel her tonight. Hallelujah. Feel her tonight. Feel her tonight. God, cause a resurgence back into her life tonight in the name of Jesus. Listen, I see in the realms of the spirit, and it's all, all it's real funny, um, when someone is on life support and when they're about to pass, how they get those um, those little shocker things and they place it on the chest and, 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 and you get shocked with voltage. That's what God is yes. doing to you. He's literally about to bring those things, bring your life back together. I don't know yes. you, ma'am, from Adam. But God says he is oh, bringing boy. you, he's resurrecting oh, your life knows. back together. Those things, hallelujah, that you were striving after, those things that you got focused off of, the Lord says he is making your path straight and that, and that you will accomplish that, those things that he has purpose for you to do, says the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory I to God. I to quit school. Hallelujah. I my school in my job. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Notice tonight the Father is, is creating a path for you, ma'am, and that you will accomplish. I heard it just as clear that you will accomplish that, what he has purpose for your life. It's a new day for you. It's a new, hallelujah, it's a new day for you. It's a new day for you. It's a new day for you. Hallelujah. I almost want to say good morning. It's a new day. It's a new day. It's a new day. Hallelujah in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's someone else tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hey! Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Is there someone else tonight? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, man of God, I thank God for the word today. Uh, Amen. Me, uh, us too, my wife and I, uh, we noticed the last few few days or weeks that it's kind of hard for us to, to sleep, have good sleep. And, you know, uh, we're waking up. I'm waking up in the middle of the night, at least twice in, uh, a night. I get up and pray. Uh, you know, as we seek God's face, I just continue to pray for us as we continue to seek his face. Amen. Oh, we are the will cops. Say it again, sir. I said we are the will cops, L.C. and Marion Wilcox. Okay. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory mm-hmm. to God. Now, if you don't mind me asking you, sir, I know I don't want to know your business, but how are you and your wife? Are y'all well, we, in a good place? Yeah, uh, yeah, we good? we great. Uh, I know she went through a, a little bout with uh, breast cancer here a few months ago, mm-hmm. and she on the me, and you know, but uh, you know, we we great, you know. Uh, been married a long time, so you know. Okay, we got good deal. Amen. 
38 years. I need that grace. Praise God. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Marriage yeah, is a good thing. Well, we need grace. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Let me pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for my brother tonight, God. Father, who yeah. has been waking up in the midnight hour and other times, God. Father, I pray. Hmm. I pray, yeah. Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Kolamandia si rebebio soya. Kalamandia sita rebebia sita. Kolamandia sata rebebio soya. Kalamandia sita devendia de bahaya. Father, I come against God. Whatever has crept in the house. Father, yeah. I cancel every assignment, yeah. hallelujah, every yeah. wicked scheme, every wicked yeah. strategy. Fire, Father, by the fire of the Thank Holy Ghost, you. God, whatever that, whatever that, that's not of you, God, Father, yeah. I drive yeah. it out in the name yeah. of yeah. Jesus. Father, yeah. I take my seat of authority. Father, your word declares who the sun sets free is free indeed. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. So, Father, I release God freedom in his house tonight, God. I release freedom in his marriage even now, God, in the name of Jesus. Father, I will even release freedom in his mind. Freedom yeah, in his yeah. soul, in the name yeah. of Jesus. Jesus. Quit worrying, sir. Quit worrying, Thank sir. You. Whatever whatever you're battling with, whatever you're worrying about, I just heard in the Holy Ghost, it's not going to come back. Just rest yeah. and assure you, that it's not going to come back, says Thank the Holy you, Ghost. Thank you. Says the Holy Ghost. Kalamandia, sita, reha, soya, in the Glory. name of of Jesus. So, Father, we thank you tonight, God, for your presence, God. Hallelujah. Just circling Hallelujah. in and out, Brother Wilcox's house tonight in the name of Jesus. So, Father, I pray let your spirit reside in his house, God. Let your spirit reside even in his bedroom, God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. So, Father, we thank you, God, for the releasing of your presence. Thank in the Woodcock Lord. house tonight, in the name, ha, in, in the, the name, name of Jesus, Jesus I thank Jesus. you. In the name Hallelujah. of Jesus. Hallelujah, in Jesus' Jesus. name. Jesus. Amen. Thank amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah, you. in Jesus' name. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank, Lord. You, Lord. Lord. Thank, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Ooh, I yes, feel Lord. Something yes, Lord. Is about to happen. Hallelujah. Ooh, something is about to Glory. happen. Hey! Hallelujah. Glory. Yes, yes. Glory. Release it. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. 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 Jesus. Jesus. Glory. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hey, glory. Glory, glory, Thank you, God. Thank you, Glory. I see in the river of the Spirit an angel with a sword coming to your home, sir. I don't know what this is about, but I defend the other in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hey, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Glory. Hey, glory. Glory. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That plan has been canceled. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you. What a mighty God we serve. Hey, glory. Thank you, Lord. Glory to your name, O God. Thank you, Lord. Glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, God. 
Mm. Hallelujah. Glory. Is there anyone else tonight? Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Can you hear me? Yes, who's there? Go ahead. All the business, uh, uh, art, peace, business. And I just need prayer for that, that I obey him and do what you want me to do. You sounded far away from your phone. Can you say it one more time, please? I want to pray that, um, that I would do what you want me to do the way you want me to do it. Miss Amy, your phone sounds muffled, so you have to, like, take your mouth away from the phone phone. You want me to put it on speaker? Yeah, that sounds better when you take your mouth away from it so we can hear you better. Does oh, it sound better now? Yes, ma'am. Okay, uh, I have, uh, the Lord allowed my heart to start a business, and I need prayer that, um, that you would uh, pray for that business. Is she saying she 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 wants to start a business? Yes, and she wants yes. prayer for it. Oh, she wants prayer for it. Okay, okay. Father, I pray for my sister tonight. God, Hallelujah, who wants to start a business. Father, I pray, I pray tonight that God that you will just intervene, God, and release. Yes, Lord. Uh, strategic strategies on how she should form this business, God. Father, I pray that, God, even now that you release an influence to her, God, hallelujah, that, God, that this business will be successful and that, God, that she will be able to take care of her family in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus. This woman Mm -hmm. has a good heart and wants to take care of her family. Yes, Lord. So, Father, I pray that resources, God, will begin to flow unto her. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, that this plan, God, this business strategy, God, will will prevail, will prevail in the name of Jesus. So, Father, I thank you for doing exceedingly, abundantly, above all that I may ask or think. Hallelujah, hallelujah, in Jesus' hallelujah. Hey, in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. In Jesus' name I pray. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Prophetess, I'm going to turn it over to you. I believe my time has been spent. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So amen. I just thank God for what he has done today. Amen. Tonight. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I pray you guys take heed to the word, the man of God, he studied for, got revelation for, and imparted into us tonight. I pray you take heed mm-hmm. to that word. Amen. When he was preaching, mm-hmm. I didn't mm-hmm. to say, here are you, God. Mm-hmm. Like, where are you? Mm-hmm. I'm here, God. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. us so bad. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. and that word mm-hmm. will bring transformation because, mm-hmm. you know, we don't want to yeah. miss what God has for us or, you know, um, right. just, you know, we need to be in his presence. So it was a good reminder. Mm-hmm. Amen. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Him, you know, he, he just brought it home with everything that's going on and happening. He brought it that word home. So I, I bless God for that. So I, I speak blessings over the man of God and his family. And I just want you guys, amen, um, just, come, just be expecting, be expecting. And I just uh, come against backlash, retaliation, and I'm going to have Pastor Sebastian pray us out. But I want to remind you, join us Wednesday night. And if you can't uh, join us Wednesday night, make sure you wake up with us 6 o'clock in the morning, tongues of fire. We pray in heavily, we pray in a heavenly language, take communion, and then make sure you join us at noon. We're on here twice a day already. So go ahead, Pastor Sebastian, please close us out. Amen, amen. I pray that everyone, um, again, was blessed by the word tonight. Um, Prophetess, if I can say this, for those um, that are not part of a church and for those that want more information about um, my ministry and what God is doing in me and with the church that I pastor, um, you can go to Facebook, 
Um, you can type in the Presence House PC. You can find information there, or you can be part of our virtual church room. We meet every Sunday, every Sunday at 6.37 p.m. It's called the Poor Room, the Poor Room, where we're in there, we are praying, we are um, just searching after God. Our mission as a presence house is to pursue God, empower people, and create disciples. And I would love to connect with some of you, amen, as the Spirit leads, and um, again, as I close right here, I just pray that the word will be a blessing unto you. Again, I'm going to say this, that you may seem like you're out of position, but you're not out of God's presence. There's no place Amen. where the word of God yeah. cannot touch you and Amen. change your life forever. Yeah. And change your life forever. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. To someone tonight, yeah. do not be weary in oh, well-doing. Yeah. For in due season, you will reap a harvest. Yeah. If you, do not, if you do not give up. In other words, if you don't thank him. So what I'm trying to say is tonight before I begin to pray, don't lose heart. Don't yeah. think. Don't give yeah. up because the harvest mm-hmm. is coming. Thank you, Lord. The harvest is coming. So, Father, we thank you tonight. Thank we you, thank you, God. Hallelujah for your word. God, we thank you, God, for your presence that's, that's even flowing even now on this line. So, Father, I pray that, God, that you continue to this blessing, each and every one, God. Bless uh, prophetess and bless Tron, God, for, for even allowing to have this, this open uh, line, God, in the name of Jesus. So, thank Father, you, I you. thank you that, God, that your loving arms will continue to be around us and protect us. In Jesus' name I pray, amen, amen. and amen, amen. And amen. Thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you. Good night, everyone. Thank you, Lord. Good night. 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 Good night